Hello everyone. I hope you find yourself having a great day. Ubuntu. What is Ubuntu? Well, Ubuntu is a free operating system, unlike Windows or Mac. Um, it runs based off the Linux kernel, and uh, Ubuntu is becoming quite popular. It's a very fast, robust operating system. It comes in 32-bit and 64-bit flavors. And what we have before us right now is the latest release, 13.04. And um, it's sitting pretty much in its native state. I've made a few modifications since I've installed it. And uh, if you've never tried Linux, you might want to give Ubuntu a consideration. It's very fast, user-friendly. Um, has a, a different look, as you can see, uh, than most operating systems. But in just a short amount of time, it's easy to get used to and uh, get yourself acclimated to it. Uh, you'll notice that its menu system structure is on the left, and this is called a Unity Bar. And um, it's got a pane that uh, you can access all of your software from. Uh, Ubuntu also has a built-in software library uh, where you can download varieties of free software from um, applications that uh, are games or applications that are for, for other programming, applications for video, applications for audio, you name it, they've got pretty much anything you need. Now, Ubuntu, uh, this particular flavor of Linux, might not be for you. And then again, it might be just what you're looking for. Now, it doesn't have the wide base of software that you might be familiar with on Windows or Linux or Windows or Mac. However, it is gaining ground rather quickly. So if for, you're, for example, are doing a lot of photo editing and use Photoshop, there's a free third party uh, download that you can download from the software center called GIMP. You may be familiar with that. It's completely free and uh, gives Photoshop a run for its money. Uh, there's a variety of free video editing packages as well. So give that a consideration before you upgrade or, or try to install uh, Ubuntu on your computer. Uh, with Ubuntu, you can also, after you download an ISO, which is just an image file format that you can burn to a CD and then at that point install it uh, on your computer. Uh, alongside that, rather than fully installing it, you can also run it from the CD to see how it performs on your computer with the hardware that you've already got. Uh, typically, if you're test driving it from the CD, it runs a touch slower than it, uh, you'd see that it would run if you installed it actually on your hard drive. But uh, once you've downloaded it, and you can download it from the Ubuntu website, ubuntu.com, and you'll see their page here. And if you scroll down, you can get a little bit more information about that. But if you want to download it, up top here, they've got a link that they provide. The download is about 750 megs, so make sure you save that. And uh, you'll also want to have either a USB drive to burn it to, burn the image to, so that you can boot to it to install it, or have a CD writing software that you can, uh, at that point, burn the uh, downloadable image to a CD so that you can boot from the CD and install it. Um, you'll choose which flavor of Ubuntu you want to install. And typically, you're going to install the Ubuntu desktop. So we'll click that. And you're going to choose whether you want long-term service with version 12.04 or for the latest cutting-edge version, which is what I'm running here, 13.04. And then again, your uh, flavor, whether you want a 32-bit, if your processor supports 32-bit, or whether you want 64-bit uh, for newer processors who are capable of running 64-bit environments. And at that point, click the download link and save that to your computer. 